गाइस व्हाट्स एप वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल श्रेष्ठा हैप्पीनेस सो टुडेज कंटेंट इज गोइंग टू बी मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्रूशियल फॉर योर लाइफ एंड इफ यू आर अ बिगनर यू शुड डेफिनेटली वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड बिकॉज आई हैव वॉट अ वेरी परफेक्ट स्ट्रैटेजी टू इम्प्लीमेंट एंड बिल्ड योर रेज्यूमी सो विदाउट स्किपिंग यू शुड डेफिनेटली वॉच टिल द एंड I know you must have already seen this in the thumbnail and this video is about resumes and now you must you must be wondering do you really actually need a separate video for resumes and the answer is yes because you will get to know what why is it so important in your life and career by the end of this video so keep watching generally resumes are like a self advertisement because you tend to advertise yourself before the employer right so it is called so called as self advertisement and uh, informal way giving summary of yourself because it, whenever they look at your resume they come to every minute detail of yourself like your education your motive your hobbies and what not everything in an interview basically the inter uh, interviewer will look at your resume just for 8 seconds that's it he will just go through the structure of the resume and go through the minute details and he will hardly scan your resume for just 8 seconds so that means definitely a first impression for you guys so you should not fail to do the first impression as the best impression so this resume format and structuring and every detail that you provide in the resume counts you must put in lot of time and effort in order to build your resume so let's get started and go in detail about the structure of the resume and how should you should actually build a resume so let's get started so before designing your resume you should know the structure and pattern that we usually follow this is the standard structure that we follow for every type every type of resume actually the resumes are of three types the first type is the chronological resume the second type is the functional resume and the third type is the combination resume we generally don't go for combination resume unless and until you are an experienced person and the first thing here is the chronological resume chronological is nothing but giving the details in the reverse order that is the latest things are put in first the recent things will come up first in the resume that is the chronological order the second thing is here is the functional resume functional resume is nothing but it is completely based on the designation that you are applying for if you are applying for some, some specific kind of job then you should design your resume in such a way that you are only eligible for that kind of thing you know immediately they look at your resume and pick up and apart from this the structure of the resumes will remain same for all these three types of resumes that is this is the standard structure that we follow everywhere the resume structure involves six parts in it the first thing here is the contact information and the second thing here is the resume objective third is the your professional experience fourth one here is your education and the fifth thing here is the skills and the sixth one is the additional information that you provide and uh, no matter what you should definitely follow this structure to impress and eye catch your interviewer's opinion and to make your best first impression coming to the first thing here the first thing here is the contact information the contact information is the top most thing and the very first thing that you mention about your resume that is suppose if your name is suppose reshta you will mention it as reshta rao and then next to it immediately you will mention your contact information that is like reshta rao at the rate of gmail.com or and if you are okay with it you can also mention your phone number there it's not an issue and the very common mistake that all of us do here is giving a proper professional email is very very important we all fail to do that we give it like shreshta cool at the rate of gmail.com whenever you write shreshta rao cool at the rate of gmail.com it's no more professional right nobody wants to know whether you are cool or hot it is not concerned for them so you need not write cool hot all those kind of things here you keep it professional like write your name or if you have your last name put it there dot if you want or underscore if you want 
then write your surname and at the rate of gmail.com and anything simple like sreshta at the rate of gmail.com will also do you this job so you need not worry and putting all those cool and hot here and the second thing here is a resume objective you should plan a perfect resume objective because that is a heart of the resume when whenever somebody look at your resume the first thing they look at is your resume objective it should be proper and it should be well defined and whenever that sentence is read it should reflect you you write something there and you are behaving some other thing it will not be obvious right you should not do that such kind of things when you write the resume it should be proper it should act like a key for your resume for example you can frame your resume objective like to work in an environment where my skills and talent can be utilized and contribute for the growth of the company or uh, play as an effective team member or you know you can frame it with nice keywords you should not fail to do that even if you do at the first stage definitely you should first make out three or four types of uh, objectives that you want and pick up the best from them and put it in your resume because it is very very important guys don't forget to do that and the third thing here is the education whenever you write your education details follow this chronological order that is write your degree first that is your graduation thing first then followed by your intermediate or your hsc and then your ssc or 10th this is the standard order that we follow and uh, i see most of them drawing one table with uh, drawing this 10th class and uh, then your school and then your percentage it is not actually required when we come to this uh, latest version of this uh, resume everything you write in the sentential form is correct you can go ahead and write in your sentential form itself and the fourth thing here is the professional experience you would actually don't write the professional experience if you are a fresher because if you are a beginner you don't have experience of course but you can write your internship details like the latest internship will come first suppose if it's your uh, for your in your btech final year you're doing you can write it first and then your third year thing you can write it there also provide the details for your internship i have done this internship regarding suppose some technology and then i have done this for some 60 days or four weeks or whatever the duration you have done uh, you should always keep it simple guys you need not write big essays for that only two to three lines will do and uh, one thing you can also include it here is the year that you actually have done this internship so that it will be easier for the interviewer to check it out what are the recent thing that you have done thing here is your skills whenever you are writing your skills please be conscious think it twice because when you write your skills there you usually mention it like leadership skills or decision making skills or otherwise communication skills you no know, all, all of these are like uh, generally terms that we use but we don't understand the meaning of it in detail but when you actually face that interview you will be definitely asked about that skill which you have mentioned in your resume that will be in your hr they will be asking like if you suppose if you have mentioned your decision making skills in your resume let us assume that they will be asking like can you share me an experience in your past where you have used your decision making skills in order to solve your problem that will, question will be definitely posted so when you are writing it be prepared for the answer also because you will be for sure asked for it and the sixth thing here is the additional information it's like additional information apart from the mandatory things you are provide you are also providing some other additional information for the interviewer right so here you can uh, you can include your achievements even if you did not uh, achieve a prize it's okay you can uh, include your participation there participated in this event or uh, volunteered for this event it shows your volunteer it shows your leadership skills it's nothing wrong and you can also include your seminars or you have volunteered or you have presented some technical presentation everything the additional information you can include it here it's nothing wrong guys so now that you understood the structure of the resume now you should go ahead and learn the formatting rules for your resume the first thing here is you should always use 1 inch margin on all the four sides of your resume again i said margin here not the border it's not the wedding card you need not draw the border here okay 
and uh, the second thing here is use proper line spacing you should always use 1.15 third thing here is choose a consistent font you know first use 12 or 14 it's your choice use 12 if you are using 12 you should use 12 throughout your resume you should not change it for side heading separate thing and the actual sentence format is separate thing no and i usually see girls decorating your resumes you need not decorate it you need not and the other thing is don't fail to follow the structure for the resume and the fifth thing here is do not provide so much of personal details they are hiring you right not your family you need not provide your my father's name my mother's name my sister's name you need not provide you just make it professional you make the look professional and keep it easy and and make it simple for the recruiter to understand it and apart from this i forgot to say you one thing i usually see people writing resume about your resume they will write in bold they will be writing resume that's not required. Whenever you are giving your resume in, your, in the interview, it means it's resume. You need not write it there again. It's a resume and then you give it. And now that you know everything like structure of the resume and what are the formatting rules, it's not that you go sit and prepare your resume. It's not about that. I have brought you a perfect strategy to build your resume. And here we go. If you are following my strategy, you should follow these six steps in order. First thing that you need to do is prepare your brain dump of your experiences. Whatever you know about yourself, be prepared in your mind. Then second thing here is make a list of your experiences, no matter what, right? And the third thing here is focus on your achievements. List it down. And the fourth thing here is find out the leave off. You need not include everything in your resume. Like suppose I know 100 points about myself. I need not write everything in the resume, right? Suppose my hobbies are like singing, dancing, eating. I need not write everything in the resume. My eating, my sleeping, my singing will not help the company. So I should leave off those. You should actually prioritize the things in your list. And the fifth thing here is after you prepare your resume, then only go ahead and prepare your resume objective that is your career objective your career objective should be in such a way that it should properly define all your things that you have mentioned below like your skills your additional information your education and your interest everything should coincide you know they should actually connect in such a way that you know it gives a strong and positive opinion to the interviewer so this is very very important guys all of us fail to do that because first thing that we initially do is find a nice career objective and keep it in your resume that is not going to work you should actually first define all these base things first and then design your career objective and the sixth thing here is compile your resume first compile your resume then recompile it you should follow this loop for two to three times only then you will understand the mistakes and the most common mistakes that we actually do is the spelling mistakes punctuation mistakes and the prepositions the grammatical mistakes that we all of us do it's nothing wrong but when you recompile you should make out and you should find the errors and you should build the nice perfect resume at the end i hope this video was helpful for you guys please try this strategy along with this i also want to mention a couple of things here uh, if you find this video helpful, please do a couple of things here. Uh, if you find this video helpful, please do subscribe guys. It gives me a lot of, of motivation to film such kind of videos. And uh, apart from this, if you have any doubts or any confusion when you are building your resume, please feel free to contact me in my Instagram. I will be putting my ID and all the details like link and everything in the description box. So you can feel free to contact me. I'll try my level best to help you out guys. If you like my content, please do subscribe. And for any suggestions, you can comment me in the comment section below because I'm putting a lot of my efforts in order to film such kind of videos. So I will be looking forward for you, all your love and support guys. Thank you so much for watching.